at you. Oh, I love this dress. Yeah, where do you where do you find these vintage items that are so cool? A lot of really great uh, vintage stores around. I got this one from Play Clothes, which just moved down to Magnolia. So I love it. People are all, all the Massies are here. I know. I That's know. what that is. You know, fashionably late. Oh, I was too, Lauren. I could not. You're very fashionably late. Exactly. I couldn't get my stuff together this morning, so. So are there rules when you buy vintage clothes? Like, do you have to take it to the dry cleaner, Febreze? What do you do to the clothes? Oh, no, no, no. There's a lot of times I like to take it. I, I, you have to keep it clean. But my biggest thing is get it home and get it in a garment bag as soon as possible. Because you got to take care of it. There's These pieces are slowly, it's kind of disgusting, but they're slowly rotting. So you need to take care of them. Keep them out of fresh air, things like that. you got to really, there's, there's a system to keeping, taking care of vintage clothes. What's, what's your favorite vintage item that you've bought for yourself? I had this and it was too expensive. I brought it home. My mom was like, why did you spend this much? But it is, and it's hard to find pieces from the 1940s anymore. So I got this great 1940s night coat that I wear as kind of like a cardigan. And it's very Oscar Wilde because it goes to like my mid calf. It's really cool. So it flows. It's very ethereal. I love it. Yeah. So, unfortunately for all of us, Wizards is wrapping very, I mean, you guys have already wrapped, but the last couple episodes. We haven't gotten picked up for season four. It's still up in the air. So maybe if you guys request it, it'll happen. We'll see. So. You, do you ever tune in to any of the shows at home? On the Disney Channel? Uh, no, it's, it's one of those things. It's like I see these people all the time, and I, lo I do, I love the shows. But I experience it five days a week, eight months out of the year. So I like to take a break. I like to take a break. When I watch TV, it's usually not the Disney Channel, as great as it is. Well, you probably know way more about the show than any major Ultimate and fan. For me, like for me, I love the mystery and the like the what I don't know, the behind the scenes stuff about television and movies. So I feel like when I know the behind the scenes, it ruins it for me. So I'm gonna leave it to the kids that you know it's still all magical and mysterious. So, so anything you can tell fans to like look out for before this season finale? Um, well, there's lots. Of, yeah, I know, right? Uh, there's lots of. We just had the whole Stevie thing happen, and so Harper and Alex just get that much stronger. And you're you're gonna see a lot more of them bonding and getting a lot closer, just like friends do when they grow up together. So. Are we going to be seeing you Broadway anytime soon? I am waiting. I am waiting for this to happen. Me too. You and me both. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things that's that's what I love about life is you never know what's around the corner. So, but nothing's official right now. Ultimate Broadway role. What? what who would you want to be? Oh well, there's lots of. I love Spring Awakening and Rent and things like that. But I might have to go back to my Disney roots and see if I can play Belle in Beauty and the Beast. I've always wanted to do that. So. I think you'd make a wonderful Beauty and the Beast. Or Beauty, I should say Belle. I shouldn't say Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. I'd be, I'd make a great beast. Put me in the suit. <laughs> Set me out. I'm good. <laughs> I'd want to be like the teacup or something. I don't know. No, I would take anything. Just let me sing and dance on stage in front of people. Yeah, do you ever sing and dance? Like, uh, I mean, uh, it's like a mini Broadway. Is it? And I dance all the time when I'm like getting ready. Like today I danced to Michael Jackson. What do you do when people catch you? You're singing in the car? Do you just keep going? Yes. A lot of the times I try to make them dance with me. Most of the time they're less inclined, but I don't really care. They should be. Life's, life's a big dance, dance and song. So are you windows up or windows down? It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm, when I play like my hard rock from like the 80s, I'll drive down Sunset with my windows down. But usually if it's musicals, I'll keep them up. Why? Are you embarrassed that you like musicals, Jennifer? No, not, I'm not embarrassed that I like musicals, but I, I have to sing along to them. I have this incapability of not singing along to them, and I don't want to subject people that didn't ask for that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if people paid to see me sing, then I would feel fine. But people are stuck in traffic. Some, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they don't want to hear it. I'm all windows up when it comes to sound of music, so I hear you. Well, thank you, darling. Good to see you. Have fun in there.